Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Thief 2, The Metal Age. Um, man, it's been an exciting past couple missions. Um, but now we're ready to see what Garrett and Victoria are going to do as their first move as mutual um, en uh, enemies of the enemy. <laughs> so, anyway, yep, let's do this. We, uh... We got some shit to figure out here with Karis and the Mechanist group. The Builder has gifted thee with the greatest of all treasures, the future. But thine own will forges the key that unlocks the lock, or that opens the lock. The new scripture of the He's Master Builder. Karis is rewriting ancient Hammer texts, but to what end? We don't know. So you want me to find out? Yes, but there's a more pressing problem. Karis is throwing a ball for the local nobility at Angel Watch, the new Mechanist Tower in Dayport. We need to know what he is up to. You have to be there, Garrett. Tonight, while the party is in progress. Angel Watch? Is this how our arrangement is going to work? You coming up with ways for me to get myself killed? Is this really Garrett, the master thief I hear talking? <laughs> If danger is going to be a problem for you, then... Just give me the details. Security at the tower will be extra heavy with the city's nobility in attendance. So gaining entrance will be difficult. For you, maybe. But I won't be knocking on the front door. The rooftops aren't called the Thieves' Highway for nothing. I have some equipment for you. You should begin immediately. And also... Remember to pickpocket the party guests? You must find out whatever you can about the Cetus Project, a name our agents have overheard repeatedly. Karis has an office in the tower. Try to obtain some information there. Brilliant idea. Try to find information about Karis's secret project in his office. You do remember who the enemy is, don't you, Garrett? If your information is wrong and I end up risking my neck for nothing, this arrangement is over. Then try asking me that question again. Awesome. All right, so we got to go to Angel Watch, which is Karis's prime headquarters, and uh, yeah, there is a lot of guard. There's a lot of guards and um, some mechs and stuff. So yeah, okay, let's uh, check out our objectives here. Uh, Mechanists want to kill you. Get to Angel Watch via the rooftops. Yep. Um, infiltrate. The access hatch on the eastern side should provide undetected entry. Uh, spy on Karis to see why he's throwing the party. Um, I'm sure he has some ulterior motives, some something up his sleeve. He doesn't just throw a party to have fun, that's for sure. Uh, break into his office and find some information on the Cetus project. Um, find and read his latest entry into the new scripture of the Master Builder. Um, gets 1550 loot. We will be getting uh, 2380 something? I can't remember exactly. Um, don't kill anybody and get. You have to get back to the to where you started. Okay, so this mission is is one of my favorites. There's a, in fact, it probably is my favorite from Thief uh, Thief Two. These tips are expensive, but they're pretty good. Um, I'm gonna get a lot of flash bombs because those come in handy a lot. I don't really need any vine arrows. Um, in fact, I'm good with this. Water arrows are not a big deal. There's not that many torches you can put out that uh, really matter. Um, you'll find a lot of water arrows along the way anyway. So, yeah, I'm, that's 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 it. That's my loadout. Grabbing all the flash bombs just in case I get myself into some stupid situation. All right, here we are. Uh, here's the bell tower. Amazing. Um, so we have a secret right off the bat. If you go hey, over the to city left, looks almost bearable from up here. By the way, you can see all the way down to the street. It's pretty cool. Do not fall down. <laughs> but here, there's our first secret. <laughs> right away, water arrows. Like I said, there's plenty. And a couple coins. Yeah, it's it's easy to get sort of turned around up on these roof, rooftops. Um, there's a lot of little nooks and crannies to go into. Like here, there's an open window. What's there? Oh shit. Um. Let's 
see if I can circumvent this situation here. Normally I go down without making a sound there, so he doesn't wake up. And then this is pretty easy, but... Okay. Get some cheese and then open that. Alright, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave without disturbing him. <laughs> see ya, buddy. I saw Okay, cool. Yeah, um... If I follow this road north, it should take me right to the Mechanist Tower. There's some cool Easter eggs that you can see around. For instance, there's here's here's one of the first ones. See that guy looking out that window? You can't actually go over there, but he's uh, just sort of spying on you. He's a keeper. He's just watching Garrett. There's another keeper in this mission, too, that we'll see later. Pretty cool stuff. Um, remember, the keepers are the ones who trained Garrett to be one of them. And that's how he became such a good thief. He learned how to um, move undetected because that's what the keepers do. They sort of, you know, they they prophesize about what's going to happen, and you know, they try to manipulate things by being sneaky and putting things where they, they often leave notes for Garrett and stuff. But yeah. Anyway, those are the keepers. So there's one of them. You can tell they have like a green. Uh, sort of shirt on under their black cloak because there are some like regular thieves that look like they could be keepers around here But they wear like all black so that's how you tell the difference Look for that little bit of green Yeah, this is pretty cool. I mean this is like I'd say this is one of the most unique missions in Who's noise both of the games. Then? Holy shit. Hey, stop right shit. There! Okay, yeah wow. Already Already we need to use a flash bomb. Uh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, what? Did he just break? What? Okay, there's supposed to be a vase here, and when he swung his sword, I heard a crack sound. Hey! Stop right there! Oh my god, I think he just destroyed loot. I've never seen that happen. Are you serious? What? Wow. You know, usually when I come in here, the timing works out so that I get into this corner well before he opens that door. And I think since I took so long to look at that keeper, that, oh my god. Okay, well, I, I'm going to have to restart the mission and come back here for that loot. I can't be missing loot because he just decided to destroy it. What an idiot. What an idiot you are. Okay, I'm back at this, uh, this friggin' establishment here. You'll see that there's a nice vase on that table this time. Well, there was last time too, but he smashed it. So there you go. There it is. And he's going in that room, so I'm gonna quickly. I hear you there. Ooh. Come on out. I'm just gonna quickly leave. <laughs> I'm gonna get out of that situation. I'm telling you that the only oh. stench hard now, rotting burrick of a master, is the liquor on his fetid breath. Okay. There's an amazing feud going on here. These knickers. Oh, my fine words coming from a knock need. Inbred page boy such as yourself. Ooh, inbred. Our good master Willie wouldn't be caught near that frumpy little trollop unless he were holding her back at the end of a halberd. How you can just you, you can just sneak the by these guys. The they don't really woman. pay any attention. Basically, this is a. Oh, don't forget this. <laughs> First. Basically, this is a uh, Romeo and Juliet sort of situation where the families hate each other, but they're actually in love or whatever. I saw her out back warming up the stable boy. Such slander will not be tolerated while we're on watch. This guy gets so mad. and rescue your helpless limp lord before he founders in his own vomit or wakes up naked in a hen coop. Scurry off! Or you'll require some unnecessary ventilation! <laughs> Is that a threat, you shriveled old maid? You go to prick us with your sewing needles? 
On this side of the street, we shoot like soldiers, so don't make promises your arrows can't keep. You got you gone too far this time, you <laughs> camel man of tunic wedding mollycoddle! Got him. Arrow in the throat and I'll shut you up! <laughs> then they just start they just start lobbing arrows at each other. What the hell? <laughs> got him. Oh, last time I played this, the uh, red guy's over here won, but it looks like, uh, looks, looks like they lost this time. Yeah, anyway. The guys that I pass by, I mean, they, they, like, they alert to you after you leave, or after the conversation's over, but honestly, you don't need to go through there again until you're way back, so it'll be fine. Oh yeah, I should check out the map. Um, basically we're heading west and just collecting all the loot along the way and then you kind of go north and um, this is just like the first area and then there's this whole section and then you find it's an angel watch. And... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The map's not that great. I mean, it shows you the general layout, but it's not incredibly helpful with your position and where you are in relation to any of those things. Um, so, yeah. Alright, this tends to be a bit of a situation for me. Is getting There's two guards here. Um, one of them has a key. Oh, shit. In fact, he's gone down that way. I'm gonna follow him. What was that? Uh, nothing. Mm, okay. Nothing, I guess. Gonna take him. I'm actually just gonna knock him out. Uh, you're gonna find out that I knock out a lot of people in this mission. <laughs> I just don't... Uh, this mission is is really difficult if you leave everybody um, intact. I just leave him there. He's fine. Okay, I'm gonna run around the building because I don't want to deal with the archer. Grab my red key. Yeah, there's, there's only a couple things to grab in this building, but uh, there is another guard inside that you have to worry about, so... Putting your ear up to the window, leaning into the door, is always a good thing to do. See, there he is. Wait for him to turn around, open the door again. Mm, didn't sound like rap. Got him. Good night, sir. And then around this door, some coin stacks. Leave you in there. Good night. Have a good sleep. I see. And then run. Um, down here, I hear you. What the hell is going there's on? a couple people robbing that little shop there, or whatever it is. It's not a shop, it's apartments. But we'll, we'll be dealing with that later. I'm also making a lot of noise. I shouldn't be. Um, there's actually quite a bit of loot over here. If you look at this uh, broken window. Let me see you. Oh shit, You're done for. he saw me. Too bad. Well, that guy's a thief. Uh, I'm just gonna leave him there, cause that's fine. And his little stash right here. Got some coins, a purse, some lucky coins. Don't want to miss that. Quite a bit of loot. And I think there's a chest in here with a flare. Good. Good. Just, I was running short on flares. <laughs> Never use them. Never use them. And then down in this little rat hole, some easily missed loot here in the northwest corner of the room. Little ring. Some moss arrows hanging from the ceiling. And I think, yep, a vine arrow in that chest, so. And then to get out, you can throw a vine arrow into the wood here, or just pull one of them maneuvers right there. Alright. On the way out of here, there's actually a little ventilation system that you can crawl into. Yeah, I sort of developed a route. I played through this mission probably four times. Um, just trying to get get a lay of the land and figure out where I want to go. Um, for anybody that's interested, when I prepare for one of these episodes, I don't read a walkthrough. I know the levels well enough that I can 
you know, find my way around them again. It takes me a minute to remember where everything is, but once I do, it, it's fine. Uh, but then I look, I find a list of all the loot, and uh, like, um, a little map to go along with it, and then I just try to figure out the best way to, um, to get it all. Um, so yeah, I don't know why I closed that, that was kind of stupid. Um, oh, but it's just not fair. Oh, the this, season's this most ballyhooed social event, and we're not even invited. There's a little window I down am a there Rothschild. that's open. Don't they understand that? We'll be getting Don't that. Don't they understand in a how incredibly important I am? Basically, this this <laughs> little bitch I know, I know, is dear. complaining because he didn't get invited to the Angel Watch party. Besides, it's not as if we so his mom is like, "Oh, dude, psh, you want us to throw a party for no, you, and we'll not just not that. invite them?" It's just that I don't know. It's, that, well, it's funny. It is really funny, but Did just get replaced this morning. There's a lot of conversations oh, we could get stuck listening to. Hey! <laughs> yeah, what I just did there is super risky, but uh, it tends to work out for me. And if not, I have my ten uh, flash bombs. In fact, I'm probably gonna need one right now because I put myself in a bad situation. No, nope, I'm good. <coughs> Wait for this guy and boop, boop. boop him right on the face. Alright, so. Got another secret coming up here. Um, this is actually uh, useful for another secret later. Um, you get what is called the sunburst device. Uh, that, is, that doesn't say anything about it, but you move that telescope and then you get this thing. I don't if you guys remember Thief Gold, um, to open the cloister gate you have to set off this big bomb. Well that's basically the same thing, and we're going to be using it for much the same purpose to blow down a door um, later. But we'll talk about, actually, one of our notes, this equipment tip right here. Um, Castle Carlisle in Dayport has a well-stocked armory, and to get in there, there's two ways to get in. You can either use the Sunburst device, or there's a key in Angel Watch that you can get. But by the time you get that key in Angel Watch, you're pretty much done with the mission anyway, and you'd have to go back to the city, so it doesn't really make that much sense to do it then. It's a little bit too late at that point. Oh, also... Um, if you go through, I didn't say anything about this little passageway. That takes you back to the room with the guy that um, destroyed the vase. So, just in case you want, you want to go back to that room for any reason, you can do that. You can actually get to this part from there. Just throw a vine arrow into the ceiling and then do it that way. But yeah, there's a lot of ways to do this mission. It's actually really really well laid out and um, yeah I just think they did a really good job with it this is one of the best missions in the game I would say the last mission is super cool too not to not to say anything bad about that um, but this is definitely a relief after the last two missions of you know following a blood trail and there not being that many like things to do or secrets you pretty much just follow the linear path for the most part but yeah, I think it's a good balance too, so anyway, anyway, I think we're done over there. Yep, so now we just, uh, that open window that I mentioned before, we're about to do that. Who's that? So, drop down to this secondary <laughs> platform. Hot These old buildings make Someone too much noise. That. Grab that purse. They can't actually, like, do awesome. anything about nothing you. There's nothing there. Hey, there they are. Strange. Saw something there that lady in the red dress appears so many times in this mission, it's crazy. Alright, so this is the Necromancer's Tower. And this is actually pretty cool. Um, so first thing you want to do is grab these. Don't read that book just yet. Um, and actually, uh, the first thing you want to do is there's a secret switch in this fire. You may have to lean or move around. Come on now. There we go. Found a secret. And I'll show you what that secret is in just a second. But um, uh, Before you leave... Okay, so this... I'll, I'll explain everything. 
in a second, but basically you need to read this book. Um, it's the Book of Ash, and apparently this is a, um, a little, uh, Easter egg or whatever. I've never seen the Army of Darkness movie, but apparently this is a reference to that. Um, yeah, then it spawns a couple zombies, so go ahead and get out of that situation. Okay, so, you don't have to read that book to make those zombies appear, but why not? And then, so we need to get into the basement here, so you have to press this book and that opens that up, and then you can go down here. And then that switch in the fireplace opens up this little chamber. Okay. Yep. There's nothing down here. It's just a little secret. Just a little secret, poo. Oh god. Yeah, anyway, I can't get, I can't wait to get out of here away from the friggin' zombie sounds. Read this little note here. Whoever finds this note, I bid thee farewell. My essence is now forever preserved in the plane of earth. Um, black in thy heart or face thy prisoners of flesh. The prison flesh. Anyway, yeah, this guy killed himself over some necromancy thing. I don't know. I don't know, pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff, but I gotta get out of here. It's getting a little annoying. God, I hate zombie sounds. So now after you're done there, I wanna jump over to these apartments. And you know what, I'm actually going to stop the episode here, uh, grab this little plate. Um, we're about to go into the section that has those two thieves that I talked about. They're ransacking the apartments, that's where we're going to now. So we'll do that next time on Thief 2. Uh, finish up the rooftop and we'll get to Angel Watch in the next episode for sure. So anyway, I'll see you guys later. Keep it classic.